Hi, this is Nick from Brickfinity. In this video, I'm going to open up the Series 19 minifigure collection. There are 16 of them, and I'm going to show you what comes with each one. Alright, let's take a look to see what the first one here is. Just let me grab my scissors, cut it open. Hopefully I don't cut anything because some things have a cloth. And it's the bear costume guy. This one has bright pastel colors. Comes with two one by one heart tiles. The face is like a little kid's face and it is double printed. The other side has like a happy expression to it. Just put his bear mask on. Nice bright pastel uh, pink, yellow, and blue colors. Same with the legs. You can see the torso has a rainbow with the heart on it. And the back side of the torso has nothing printed on it. Let's go ahead and put him on the stand. And let's have him hold one of these hearts. See if I can get him to hold it. Come on. Come on. There we go. And it also comes with a curved 1x2 tile with a printed rainbow on it. See if I can get him to hold it in the other hand. There we go. And here's a close-up of him from the front and the sides. And again, on the back, nothing printed on the torso. Some more views. Here you go. And that was Bear Costume Guy. All right, let's see what the next one is. Cut this open. And it looks like it's the dog sitter. This one's funny because it has two dog poop pieces. I wonder whose idea it was to create those. The torso and the legs have this like nice overall outfit printed on it. Uh, it's printed on the back as well. Let's get her head on here. And turn it. There we go. Here's uh, the hat is dual molded and has the hair attached to it. The hat also has a dog print printed on it. She also comes with a green shovel so she can scoop up the dog poop instead of picking it up. It's a nice view of her. And here's the back side. It has an alternate face to it. Uh, looks like it's like she's worried. Like the smell of the poop is a little too strong for her. And it comes with two dogs. It's a like, brown wiener dog. Here's a view of it. And this white one, is it a bulldog or something? Not 100% sure. And try to give you a close up of the poop, but it's kind of small to show you. But here they are just sitting in front there. And move the instructions out of the way. And here you go. And this is the dog sitter. Alright, let's see what this next one is. Dump it out. It looks like it's going to be the firefighter. Ah, come back here, head. So this one's going to be quick, not much to it. Just put the head onto the torso. And the legs on. And she has a safety vest on. Alternate face looks a little worried there. Her helmet is dual molded with hair on the sides, blonde hair. She has a megaphone with the fire logo printed on either side. Let's have her hold it. And here we go. Here's a view of her. Lift up the megaphone. And there's not too much to it, just a simple one. And this is the firefighter. 
Let's grab the next one here to open up. Jump it out. Looks like it's the box costume girl. Let's grab the head, put it on the torso. Grab the legs and it comes with a tail. So let's put the tail on before we connect the legs to the torso. Push it on there. It has two faces to it. There's the other one. Let's grab her mask, put that on. There you go. Looks pretty nice. Here's the back side of the tail. And it comes with a bag, so it looks like she's stealing something. Set her on the base, get her legs trained. There we go. And it also comes with a chicken. It's like a cream color. So maybe she has more chickens in the bag that she's stealing. But there's Fox Costume Girl. Alright, on to the next one. The trusty old scissors cut away. Dump it out. All right, looks like we have Fright Night. It's an interesting guy. It comes with a lot of parts. Let's try to get this head out of the chest plate here. It's like wedged in there. There we go. All right, let's put the chest piece on over the torso first. Before we put the head on, All right. here's a look of his face, kind of scary. Let's get his helmet on and ice flame piece for top of the helmet. There we go. Now let's do the legs. Push them on, and he has a shield. First, let's get the sword out of the shield. Got stuck there. Flip the shield to his hand. There we go. And put the sword in his other hand. Come on. It's really hard to do this sometimes because the phone is blocking my view. Recording off my phone. There we go. There. We got it. Just put him on the stand. And there he is. Cool looking knight. With the uh, transparent flame on the top. And the transparent blue shield. It's supposed to look like ice. And there you go. There's Fright Knight. Comes with an extra sword and an extra flame. All right, let's see what the next bag has in it. Grab the scissors, cut away, slide that out of the way, dump it out, and it looks like it's the Galactic Bounty Hunter. Uh, did I get everything? All right, just move that out of the way. Uh, yes, I'm missing the head. Is still in the bay? Nope. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, it rolled off the camera and I didn't even see it. So let's attach that to the torso. Then attach the legs. So the back of the head has like this computer chip print as the alternate face, you would say. Oh no, I forgot the shoulder pads. So we gotta take the head off, put the shoulder pads back on, watch the head roll away. Grab the head, put it back on, put his helmet on. And he comes with this wanted poster. It says wanted, built or broken, reward, 300 million studs. So I guess studs is the currency for Lego. Let's get that on his hand so he can hold it. Grab 
grab his gun. It just comes with this basic gun with the sight on the top. Let's clip it onto his hand. Put him on the stand. And there you go. Cool looking torso. Cool looking figure in general. And that is the Galactic Bounty Hunter. All right, next bag here. Dump it out. And it looks like it's the gardener. This is a grandma with purple hair. Let's get her head onto her torso. Glasses down just below her eyes. Grab her legs, put them on. Grab her purple hair. There we go. Sorry, I keep forgetting that out of view. It's hard to put my phone in the way. But she also comes with this flamingo decoration for her garden. The flamingo part is rubber, so it can bend easily. And she comes with two weeds that she's pulling out of her garden. She has a nice printed torso. And here she is, the gardener. New bag, who this? Let's find out. Start it open. Ah, Jungle Explorer, aka Johnny Thunder. Let's get his backpack onto his torso before I put his head on, because I know I'll do that otherwise. All right. There we go, snap it on. Grab his hat. Put that on him. Put his legs on. There we go. Put his little magnifying glass in his hand. Try to. There. Come on. There we go. Oh, his hat fell off. Put that back on him. He has a nice print. Kind of looks like Jack Black, the face. Cool backpack for. Adventures, and he comes with a little green iguana, nice print on it. There we go. This is the Jungle Explorer. All right, here's a new bag. So let's open this one up now. Dump it out and. We have the Monkey King. Uh, most of the pieces are in its separate bag. Since you got the cloth piece with it, so everything else is in a separate bag. Here is the torso. Let's put the cloth tail on before the head. Oh, we need the shoulder pad, of course. Now we do the head. Looks a little crazy there. And his head piece, the monkey ears. So now we need to put the tail on the legs before we attach to the torso. Now we can attach them. So what it looks like, cool print on the torso and the legs. The torso is printed on the back as well. So now we have to put his little feather in his hair. There we go. Looks nice. Now we have to build his little weapon. 
this tab. So I just put these pearl gold pieces on the ends of the red bar. Just put that in his hand. All right, turn that. Looks pretty cool. Different views of him. Let's put him on the stand. And you're gonna have extra pieces here. But here we go. There is the Monkey King. Okay, here's another bag. This one is pretty easy to figure out what it is because there's a lot of air in it. And of course it is the Mountain Biker. Come on, bike. And here, where's she at? Oh, another bag. All right, let's open this bag up. They add air in the mountain biker bag, so it's a little harder to feel for it, but it's still easy. All right, let's grab her head, put it on her torso. She's wearing some nice glasses. Cool looking torso. Alternate face, no glasses. Dual molded legs, two colors, and with knee pads. She's got a helmet on with hair molded onto it as well. She's got a band aid on her one arm here, front and on. Let's pop the tires onto the rims. Here we go, snap them onto the bike. Got a nice blue bike here. Make sure the wheels spin. There we do. All right, this is a standard off-road bike that you'd get in other sets. But she has cool printing on her. And this is the mountain biker. Let's see. All right, time for the next bag. Cut away here, slide that over, dump it out, and it looks like we have the Mummy Queen here. So let's grab the torso and put the head on. Come on, ah. get on there. Come on, there we go. Right, and grab the legs and her headpiece. Set her on the face. And it comes with a little pearl gold scorpion. There she is. Zoom in on her. She's wrapped up like a mummy, so it has the cloth strips all around her. Turn to the back, you can see it's printed on the back as well. Legs are dual molded. And you get an alternate face like a zombie mummy. Not sure. Not a normal face, but I just have her normal face showing right now. Here's a view of the scorpion. And this is the Mummy Queen. All right, let's see who's in this bag. There are not many options left at this point. So let's cut it open. It looks like it's the pizza costume guy. This one is the favorite of mine out of the series. We have a pizza and ice cream shop that we made. So we're gonna put the pizza guy out front. Let's put his head on the torso here. Just a plain green torso. Slide the pizza costume over him. We got the like, checkered printed pants. So that's pretty cool. We got a menu here. Pizza, one dollar. Hamburger and fries, one dollar. It's a pretty good deal there. So let's Put the menu on his hand. Let's put him on the stand. And here we go. Here's the pizza costume guy. Let's turn him around. 
There's nothing printed on the pizza part. That would have been funny if they had like a little burnt print on there. Hello. Well. And here he is. Alright, let's get this bag. Grab the scissors to open it. And this one is the programmer. She has a lot of accessories here. So let's get something in here. Nope, okay. Let's grab this. Need to figure out how to make her a little robot. Come on, instructions. Okay. Oh, let's see. Where's that? Okay. Nope. Oh, yep, so up here on top. So let me see. Okay, looks really easy. I just wanted to make sure I was going to assemble it the right way. So put these on. little wheels on there we go there's the little robot of hers let's grab her head put it onto the torso and her legs it's nice glasses uh, two prints for the head now you see her shirt is binary on it if you look it up online it actually spells out lego it's a cool easter egg there let's get her hair on how does this go okay there we go nice she has a white laptop so let's fold that up and clip it to her hand Let's try this hand. Here we go. I'm just struggling today. Let's put her on the stand. Move her hair. Slide the robot over. Here we go. And this is the programmer. All right, here's another bag to open up. So let's cut this open. Slide that out of the way. And it looks like it's the rugby player. So you grab the head, put it on the torso. All right, there we go. Grab the legs, put those on. Here's a nice view of him. Cool uniform. He has an alternate face. The uniform has printed on the back with the torso. Show you the alternate face. It looks like he got banged up a little bit, missing some teeth. Um, where's the helmet? Should be a helmet with this. Oh, oh, there it is. It got stuck in the bag. Okay, put that on him. Needs to be safe when playing because he's already banged up. Let's put the rugby ball in his hand. It's nice, it has a little clip on it so you can hold it. So it says rugby. Come on, focus. Rugby Supreme, it says on the ball. It's a pretty cool little guy. We also want to make a team of those. Here we go, the rugby player. Another bag, another minifigure. Getting down to the end here. And this one is the shower guy. You can see his towel falling out. So it's, oh, everything else is in a separate bag. Everything, yep, that's it. All right, let's grab the scissors again. You open. This bag up. All right, let's get 
his towel on first. Two in the center. Go over the legs. Come on. Wrap this around. Talon. Up there. And wrap the other side around. Stay. No, no. Ah, ah. Come on. This would be a whole lot easier if I was able to see correctly. But like I've said, my phone is in my way. So I'm like watching on the screen, but it's not in the same position where actual stuff is. Now it's hard to explain. This is why I'm struggling here. All right, where's the torso? Yeah, come on. No, come on. This is frustrating. Hopefully this is entertaining to you guys, but it's probably boring, so I'm sorry. So let's get the torso on. Ha ha. All right. Not perfect, but it's acceptable. It only took like five minutes. So he's has a very excited face. And the alternate face looks pretty excited too. Let's put his shower cap on. And put his comb in his hand that he comes with. Put him on the stand. And he comes with a little green rubber ducky as well. Set that next to him. There's a good view of him. And this is the shower guy. All right, it's the time for the final bay. I know what this is with process of elimination. Da -da 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 -da. And it is the video game champ. I really like this one because it comes with the uh, new controller element. First let's get his head on the torso, then the legs on. And his headpiece. Green hair with the gaming headset on. Let's have him hold the controller in his hand. Put him on the stand. And it also comes with a 2x3 printed tile not sure if it's supposed to be a game poster or a game case, but with the scale of this to the minifigure, it is a pretty big game case if that's what it is. Here's a view of the guy. Nice printed uh, torso. It's printed on the back as well. See he has green hair and alternate face. Looks kind of frustrated like playing the game let's take a look at the controller here pretty nice piece but here is video game champ here's an overview of all 16 minifigures from the Series 19 minifigure collection. They will be released on September 1st, 2019, wherever minifigures are sold. Feel free to comment below which ones you like the most or which ones you do not like. And feel free to subscribe to catch our future videos. Thank you very much for watching.